<laughs> Can't be done with Oh my god, this makes me laugh. Um, okay, oh no, I can see the Metal Man thing. Oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> I just laugh at this now. Like, before I used to be like, what the fuck, bro? And, and all this kind of shit. Now it just makes me fucking laugh. It's like a satire. Um, in, the, in the past mid chapter, we added five second endurance uh, and here's status effect to all un unhooked survivors. These status effects are designed to give an unhooked survivor a fighting chance. Uh, you mean a free escape? No, you don't mean a fighting chance. You mean a free escape. Because uh, that's what it's going to turn into. Um, a fighting chance uh, by allowing them to get to a nearby pallet or window if the killer decides to chase them again. So the, so the survivors don't even need to body block. They can just like do it and then just run away. Uh, we released this feature with safe numbers to ensure that things don't get out of hand. Now uh, that we've had some time to see uh, how they play out, we feel comfortable increasing them further. In 6.2.0, we'll be increasing the duration of haste and endurance effects by 10 seconds. So double. Uh, additionally, we'll be increasing the haste effect to <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, it, so it's double and faster. <laughs> You're running faster than 110% killers, and you have 10 seconds of invulnerability. In Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, we hope you'll find these improvements to be much more effective in discouraging the killer from chasing the same survivor immediately after unhooked. Devs. The killer does it because they, they need to. They need to do that sometimes. <laughs> oh, the mad ones. Shit's funny. They still don't get that killers do it not because they're, they're horrible people. They want to just win the video game. Uh, Metal Man, in a recent update, we released a new version of Metal Man, which worked consistently with other endurance effects. Many of you voiced concerns with the version of the perk being weaker than before. Survivors. Uh, favoring a, a harder to earn effect that couldn't be lost. Our intention with this change was never to make the perk weaker. Therefore, alongside the chapter release, we'll be reverting the recent update to Metal Man. Metal Man will, uh, st uh, will instead grant a unique protection effect that is not cancelled by conspicuous actions like endurance. Uh, to help different, uh, differentiate them, this perk will no longer cause the endurance status effect to appear in the hood when activated. Interesting. But what about... It, so it'll still be free hits though, right? Wait, so you can stack metal then? You can stack metal with more endurance, can't you? They're obviously reverting it to free hits, right? They're not going to keep it on two, because that would be fucking insane. Yeah, they've, they've done endurance stacking again. Even though we did a PTB saying you shouldn't have endurance stacking, it's really problematic. They were like, oh, okay, endurance stacking. Got you. Free protection hits after being unhooked. The first one within 10, 20 seconds with BT. Wait, free protection hits after being unhooked. First one. I don't even mean range. It's two hits on Metal Man. Dude, if they if they make Metal Man two hits... This is what I said they'd do. Can you remember I said this? I said they could do this. They did it with DS, I remember, where they changed DS to counter something or change something, and then that something went away, but they just kept DS the same. Uh, it was enduring. They, they, had, they had DS on three seconds, uh, but enduring made it so it didn't work. So they made enduring not work versus it, and also put it to five seconds. No, that was it. They put it to five seconds and kept enduring, and then they got rid of enduring. That was it. Remember I said this? Yeah, my reads, man. Um, what else? Uh, the halls of the police station were packed in this PTB. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Wesker. Uh, one thing we noticed in the PTB, collision to the punish. Uh, what's some energy in the PTB? Survivors would not take damage to the rest of them towards them as they were vaulting. Okay, that's good. Uh, visited his powering loops. We found his base movement speed between bounds to be a little sore. That's very true. I thought that. Uh, making it uh, difficult to get in position for the bound. Yep, I agree. Uh, for the release, we increased the. Uh, so they so they increased it to this from this, which is still quite slow. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Um, since Zadar has been under the base kit, we reduced his move. Wait. Speed. Oh, really? Oh, that weren't enough. I don't think that was enough. So it'll still be the same. 
Uh, since this add-on has been uh, added to the base kit, we've reduced its movement speed bonus to 8% from 20 to compensate for a new total of that. Okay. Uh, Codes are unbound for survivors. Injured uh, of times, it's fortunate enough to have their friends flung at them without even realize they've been injured. To make it obvious. Oh, like. Some survivors, when someone's been thrown at them, they didn't know they got injured. This is problematic. So now we've made it more obvious. You're welcome. Like, what? This is what I'm on about with the hand holding shit. This is minor, but it's like. How, how much do you want a baby? This shit. Uh, Nia, thank you for the 44 months. Much love, man. Uh, keep it going. Thank you. Uh, to make it more obvious, being injured from healthy. Uh, from a survivor thrown by the mass man will cause deep wounds. I, I guess that's a buff. Like they, they've wanted to make it so um, the survivor, you know, gets a bit of help that they know that they've been injured. Uh, fucking hell! Um, but they've had a deep wound, so that's actually a bit of a buff. Uh, that's like an indirect buff to the killer to try and help the survivor without the devs understanding, or I don't, I don't even know. But yeah, cool. I guess right. Um, last but not least, we've slightly torn down the survivor collision detection of the masterminds bound. Wait, that's dangerous, depending on what it is. Uh, we found this to be a little too generous on the PTB, allowing the killer to grab survivors that were not in front of him. This change will require a little more precision on the killer's part to make villain bound feel fairer to the survivors. Oh, I hate when they fucking talk about fairness. God pallets and shit. Um, okay, I guess we'll see what happens with that. I really don't know. Uh, have they buffed this? What was this? Oh, pause hook reg uh, progression. Uh, by new team, uh, reassurance had a 40 second cooldown and could be used repeatedly. When coordinated with the survivors, it could have been abused to keep the hook survivor permanently on the hook, preventing them from being sacrificed against his will. Uh, <laughs> Dude, why can't people see? through the gaps. Why can't people see through the smoke and mirrors? Notice, this wasn't because it's an issue for the killer, someone being on the hook forever. It's because it's other survivors BMing other survivors. They're thinking about survivors' issues with this. Like, fucking hell, it's like non-stop. Who, 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 who wrote this? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we? Uh, for release, we have moved the cooldown of reinsurance. Okay. The cooldown. So you can just do it whenever you want on any hook instantly without... Do they? What do they have to do to get this? What, what do you have to do to get reassurance, guys? You don't have to do anything. That's that's going to be banned from Tony, right? I'm, I'm quite confident I'll be banned from Tony. Um, or comp, whatever you want to say. I talk about comp because they're the ones who are trying to balance the game properly. Like, when when you're playing something competitively, etc., uh, you try and actually balance the game to make it so it's actually competitive. So that's why I talk about comp, by the way. Uh, I don't care about competing in comp, but I understand they're trying to actually balance the game, just so you understand where I'm coming from. Um... For the release, we've removed the cooldown of reassurance. Instead, reassurance can only be used once per hook instance, so 40 seconds added onto the 60. This is going to be problematic, uh, most likely, I, I would assume, but we'll see. Uh, 40 seconds added on to the 6 day, so 100 seconds on each hook state for free. 200 seconds. So nearly three and a half minutes or something. Right? 60, 120, uh, 180. We have fr 3 minutes, 20 seconds on a hook. Wow. Right? Um, the effect of this perk can still be chained together if multiple survivors are running reassurance for a maximum delay of 90 
seconds. Wait, I'm confused. 40 second cool... Oh, 40 second cooldown, sorry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so it's 30 seconds. Okay. So it'd be 60 seconds. So it'd be another minute. So it'd be fr uh, three minutes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, but they all can do it. We have being abusable. So you could do 90 seconds per one. So that's 180. Um, so that's another three minutes on top. That's five minutes. Five minutes on hook, right? You can have one survivor being on the hook for five minutes. If they wanted to. And I'm pretty sure some people will fuck with that in some swift, right? Uh, but it just having one person. So it only does it by 30 seconds. It's not too crazy. If it's just one person. Um, wicked awareness per grants killer aura reading while they're carrying a survivor in the P2B. This effect holds linger for two seconds after a current survivor is dropped. Hooked to wheel free. This effect could be... A this effect could be a little oppressive on certain killers. Um... Especially when paired with Lethal Pursuer. Perk synergy, bad. Uh, to extend the aura reading effect and Starstruck to make survivors exposed. Stop doing smart builds. Um, for the release, we've removed the lingering aura reading from Awakened Awareness. As a result, Lethal Pursuer will no longer extend the duration of Awakened Awareness aura reading. So even more point of not bothering with Lethal Pursuer. Uh, low profile, low profile hides your scratch marks uh, and pools of blood when you become the last survivor for 9 seconds. Um, unfortunately, this meant the perk would only activate once per match and only if you happen to be the last survivor standing. For the release, we've changed this to include the time you are the only survivor who is not dying, hooked, or dead. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So... You have no scratch marks, no pools of blood when all your team is slugged or on hook. So it's another kind of thing you need to look for for killer then. Oh, I'm a god. It'll also give you iron will. You get iron will. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, yep, they just massively buffed it. Uh, can you see these, actually? Uh, it's the anti-slug for the 4K perk. Yeah, fuck, fuck going for 4Ks. <laughs> um, shit. That's problematic. I mean, there's a lot of problematic shit, and we, we always try and overcome it. Uh, better than new, this uh, perk granted by survivor, you healed 6% action speed bonus to repairing, healing. Uh, uh, we found the duration of this perk to be a little low. Another buff, right? To be able to use out the bonus speed for release, we've made a few changes to this perk. So, so, any survivor you healed, they will get a 16%. So it's more than double. 16%. Action speed bonus to... Ah, they got rid of uh, repairing, though. Healing, chest opening, and totem. Um... Better new law no longer has a duration. So I instead keep this bonus until the next time they take damage. Holy fuck. Do you think they've, like, deceptively took rid got rid of this from here, but really it is in? Because why haven't they mentioned it? Why haven't they said... Why did, I, I, you, you understand why I think they're very deceptive, right? Like, if I was writing this, I'd say, better than new... Now grants a 12, 14, 16% action speed bonus to healing, chest opening, and totem, totem cleansing and blessing. We have taken away the repairing because we thought that would be too oppressive. But they don't mention it. They just don't mention it. Just, maybe it will have the repairing, maybe not. I mean, the repairing would be insane. 16% forever. Like, just, just just a base until you get injured. Uh, we'll hope... Uh, we hope this will make it easier for you. Finally, chapter split into two, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, insane. Insane. So, let's have a look. So, um, Bloodwed, that's good. That uh, 
we can get add-ons. Happy about this. Cool. Uh, so, Campy Tunnelly. Um, so, buff to Survivor. Massive buff to Survivor. Massive buff to Survivor. C just try and imagine this patch being killer. Like, the, the stuff that they've given to Survivor, this patch. How, how out, like, like, just fucking crazy the community would be about it. Like, what the hell? Another killer favoured patch, even though the last one wasn't. Because um, it, it didn't really change much. It was more so than usual, because usually the killer gets for call and the survivor just gets getting buffed. But anyway, so uh, massive buff. Uh, dependent on um, how many stacks this takes, two would be the insane buff. This would probably become meta. Um, it still might. I don't know. Th th this is this is really scary. Um, and then they buffed. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Wesker a bit, which is obvious because they want people to buy him. That usually happens. Um, then a big buff here, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't know if this is a buff. This is a change. This is a change. Big buff. Oh, wait. No, no. Nerf. Nerf. Sorry. That's killer perk. Nerf. Uh, big buff. Survivor perk again. Uh, and big buff again to survivor perk. So buff. Buff. Killer perk nerf change. Cool. We're back to normal patch notes. Huh. Um, there you go. 